a whole website in a single JavaScript file. So this is a blog post from Dino, which is another runtime built on top of JavaScript, which uses a opinionated collection of tools, TypeScript, a certain set of tooling for building those projects, packaging those projects and so on. But Dino also provides us a deployment infrastructure. This is like a SaaS offering of Dino, which allows you to deploy stuff on the edge using Dino as the runtime and just deploy it globally, just like Cloudflare workers exist or Cloudflare pages exist, right? Zero config, zero maintenance, you get all the benefits of edge and low latency and so on. But this blog post over here showcases you the power of Dino in general and the infrastructure which it exposes. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So first things first, you can see Dino obviously imports directly can import through URLs. If you haven't watched my Dino videos from past, make sure you do in order to understand more about it. But what essentially we are doing over here is creating a kind of a routing system on the backend itself, right? So this backend over here, this includes all the information for what needs to be rendered and everything and anything is customizable and importable and, and you know, type safe, or at least if not type safe, at, le at least everything gets type checked thanks to the TypeScript and the Dino integration. And you can see all the libraries which they use for rendering JSX, for example, they use Nano SSR. For the routing system, they use the, you know, the router from Dino. Now the comments you see over here are the TypeScript comments. That means they allow you as a developer to inform your IDE about what kind of types, you know, your IDE and the TypeScript compiler, what kind of things you want to enable and disable. So you can see with this line, you tell Dino that you will be using JSX in your code. So that should be properly handled. Then you disable a bunch of libraries and enable only the typing for the libraries, which you as a developer specify. Let's try out this code in the Dino playground. So I can click on this link and they'll just open a nice little single playground for us, which includes the code on the left and the literal deployed website on the right. This might seem very similar to Cloudflare workers if you have seen it. And that is because both of them, I guess, work in a single manner. So if I fork and edit this, you will be able to see that we have our new domain deployed and now we can start messing around with things so ready to dive in from code dam there we go so i just change this text to ready to dive in from code dam i can save and deploy this and when i save and deploy this you can see it deploys almost instantaneously it also propagates this to all the locations which dino has globally and you can see this is actually a live link with very nice performance very nice uh, you know speed and execution times and not a lot of latency from the servers because it's distributed worldwide so dino in itself is an interesting technology and the dino deploy SaaS offering is really interesting we have covered dino deploy in detail in past so make sure you check that video Video out. Yeah, what do you think about this platform? What do you think about this interface? I think Dino Deploy has much more competition with Cloudflare compared to Node.js because this is the part where they would probably make money. And Cloudflare has an absolutely beast platform, absolutely beast team. And the SaaS offering, which Dino is offering, is exclusively for Dino at the moment. Cloudflare is, is a cloud provider in that sense. So it will be interesting to see how the story unfolds with Dino in the coming days, in the coming future. And I'm definitely keeping my eye up for Cloudflare, a platform like Cloudflare also, to roll out support for a technology like Dino, because why not? So yep, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about having a single page like we used to have for PHP back in the days for a single website. Would you ever create a website like this? Let me know your thoughts. That is all for this one. I'm gonna see you in the next video really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.